Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. I am doing a little bit of a late one today um, because I just got back from dinner, but I wanted to show up and say hi. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is a quick shortcut for you. Um, the reason why I thought of this topic was because I was talking to someone, someone who I love, who's very close to me, who was worried about something. And I, I know the feeling because I used to be a huge worrier. I still worry about things, obviously, I'm human, but I used to be a huge worrier. I would, like, literally, if it was, if it was like, matter, I would worry about it. If it, if it existed, I would worry about it. Um, so here's the thing. When you are worrying about something, so think about something in your life that you are worrying about right now. When you are worrying about something, you are giving energy to the negative outcome. So when you're worrying, think of it like you are praying for what you don't want. Because all you're doing is thinking about and hoping and expecting the thing that you don't want. And here's the thing. Um, here's a little shortcut for you. If you're someone who's starting a business or you're working towards something, um, think about what it is that you're working towards, whether it's getting a new car, right? Some people work really hard to get a fancy Ferrari, or it's a whole bunch of money, or it's living somewhere, or whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're, <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Jessica uh, Colvin Designs says, don't be a warrior, be a warrior. I, I'm going to use that. That's freaking awesome. Um, whatever it is that you're working towards in your life right now, if it's a new car, if it's a new house, if it's a husband, if it's a, a job, whatever it is, the reason why you want it at the end of the day is the feeling you will get, okay? Some people work their whole lives to, to achieve some level of success because it is the feeling that they will get from it, okay? Because money in your bank account doesn't actually give you a feeling. Like, the money that's sitting in my bank account right now, it's there and I can log in and I can see the number there and that's great, but it doesn't call me in the morning and say like, hey sweetheart, how are you doing? It doesn't give me a feeling, right? Unless like I give meaning to it. So whatever you're in your life that makes you feel good or make you feel bad, it, it has that feeling because you choose to give meaning to it. So what you can do if you're working really hard towards something, Think about what is the feeling that I want to get out of this. So I know before I started my own business, when I was working towards becoming an entrepreneur, it was because I wanted the feeling of being free. I wanted the feeling of being able to do when I wanted, whenever I wanted, and I wanted the feeling of being able to empower people, and of course, I wanted to be happy. But if I had waited until I got all those things, I would have been waiting a long time and because I wasn't taking action in that happy energy, I don't even know if I would have made it. So what you need to do when you're working really hard towards something, and this is a little shortcut for you, is think about the feeling that you're actually after, right? So um, just say you want a Ferrari, right? People who purchase a Ferrari, they don't actually want like a big ton chunk of metal. They want that feeling. They want people to admire them. They want to feel loved. They want to feel adored. They want to feel successful. But nothing is stopping you from deciding to feel that right now, okay? So if you're sitting at home right now and you're working towards something, you're like, yeah, I want this thing. You want the feeling. So what is the feeling? Write it down. Is it to be successful? Is it to be loved? Is it to be praised? Is it to be adored? Whatever that is. And then just decide to feel that feeling now. You don't actually have to wait until you get the thing to feel that feeling now. You can, you can imagine that you have all of the positive repercussions of it right now and see how your energy shifts and see how your energy changes. Because there's a lot of people out there that have a Ferrari or that have a lot of money and I know a lot of people, um, I used to date someone who was literally a billionaire, like not a millionaire, a billionaire, who wasn't, it didn't seem like he was that happy. Right? So it's not the actual money that makes you happy. It's the feeling that you decide to have. And you can have the feeling right now. And the cool thing is when you decide to live in that feeling, so you decide to just feel happy and successful today, instead of looking at all the things that you don't yet have, look at all the things that you do have and decide to be in that feeling. That is the shortcut to getting what you want. 
because because you already feel good, then the actions that you're taking, you're taking from a place of empowerment. You're taking from a place of surety. No one can take it away from you because you've already experienced it. You already feel that feeling. And then now when you're taking action in your business or whatever it is that you're doing, you're, you're doing it because you love it, because you're excited about it. You're not working from a place of desperation. You're working from a place of creativity and fun. And when you work from a place of creativity and fun, you enjoy what you're doing you're going to approach it in a different way. You're going to be more successful with it. People are going to be able to take notice of it. And so what you'll find is that because you have the feeling, you'll attract the thing that you actually want. And you'll enjoy the journey the entire way rather than fighting and climbing uphill to get it and letting it be this huge struggle. So whatever it is that you're working towards, Instead of waiting for the thing to happen, to feel the feeling, feel the feeling now, act as if it is already true, and the outcome, the results that you want will show up. So for example, if you want a successful business, don't wait until it's successful to feel successful. Start to feel successful. Ask yourself, if I was already a successful business owner, what traits would I embody? What personality would I have? How would I talk to people? How would I spend my time? Would I spend my whole evening watching Netflix and staring at everyone else on social media? Or because I'm an already successful entrepreneur, would I put my time into doing the work and things that matter? Because you feel that feeling before you've actually seen the physical result, you're going to take the right action from a place of empowerment and then the result will show up in your life and it will be so much easier. So feel the feeling. Don't spend any time worrying. Worrying is literally a waste of your time. Worrying is praying for the thing that you don't want to happen. Instead, if you're gonna put all your energy and, and time into focusing on one specific thing, put that energy into focusing on the thing that it is that you want and know that it is possible for you and feel really good about it. Decide to feel good even just that you have the idea. Decide to feel good that you're just taking those right steps. And because you're opening up your mind to that creativity, that, that feeling of love, that feeling of happiness, that feeling of excitement, all the ideas will begin to flow because you're working from a place of empowerment. So guys, that was my little tip for you today. Feel good, life is all about feeling good. It is not a, just about the end goal. When you reach the end goal, it's great, but if you're somebody who is an overachiever, that end goal is always going to shift. Like the life that I live now is the life that I just dreamed of when I, that when I worked in a nine to five. So now that I'm here, I'm not just like, well, that's it, guess I'm done. Now I'm setting my next goal, my next goal, my next goal, right? So there's always going to be a moving target. So what you have to do is you have to just decide to be happy now, and that way you can work on whatever your next big projects are with fun and excitement. All right, guys? So, so fun hanging out with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you loved this or you know someone who needs to hear it, hit the share button, and I will be back with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a very exciting day for me. I'm filming something really cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but I will show you some uh, little live stream behind the scenes. Um, we're actually gonna be shooting it in my apartment, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. So um, check out my Instagram stories tomorrow because I will be showing you the setup and what I'm talking about, and it's gonna be really fun, and I'm excited for you guys to hang out with me. So. Have an amazing night.